Good morning, welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday and it is Shabbat prep day. So Shabbat's tomorrow and what I like to do on Thursdays for myself is early in the morning at 7 a.m. I get up and I get my hair blown out for the weekend and I know that's not for everybody but for me it makes my life easier because I do work so I go early in the morning while the kids are still asleep I get my hair blown out so I don't have to worry about it for Shabbat or the weekend and it just makes my life so much easier. So normally I would go and try to pick up some fresh flowers on the way home but you know, my husband was kind of, the kids were really rowdy this morning and I didn't want to leave him with them for too long as they were going crazy. We had a chocolate milk disaster on the couch. So I got home as soon as I can. But now um, we are going to go out and get some flowers before I have to work today. Work for me starts at 10 a.m. and I do work from home, so I'm super duper lucky. So I am ready to go. I'm gonna bring my two-year-old son with me and we're gonna pick up some stuff for Shabbat this weekend. So like I said, I do work from home and I was about to leave to go pick up some flowers and stuff for Shabbat, but got a couple early morning messages. So I'm gonna work a little bit and then I'm gonna head out and grab them really quick before my actual work day starts. So today is a little bit of a different um, Thursday Shabbat prep because my son is off of school for the next two weeks uh, for the holidays. So he will be joining me shopping for Shabbat. There's many ways to be happy. You can do whatever you like. You don't have to be ready. You just gotta try. If you have little ones at home and you've been cooped up inside because it's cold and rainy, a little parent hack that I have is to go to your local pet store. My son absolutely loves this. We spent about 30 minutes just looking at the fish alone, but it's a nice little thing to do if you're just looking for something free and fun to do with the kids. Uh, visit your local pet store. I swear your kids will love it.
Shabbat is really important to our family. We always try to hold it every week. It looks a little different every week, but this is kind of a typical Shabbat for us where there's no special holiday and we have no guests over. It's just my husband and I, our two and a half year old son and our nine month old daughter. So not much is set up for at our table, but there's always a few main things that we like to have when we're celebrating Shabbat at home. Number one, we try to make a special dinner and um, make something yummy that everybody likes. Number two, we like to have fresh flowers at the table. Number three, we always have our candles. That's my son's favorite part. Um, so we always have that set up. And number four, we always like to plan an activity for the family. So after Shabbat dinner, we always do something together and it's different every week. But I just wanted to show you how we set up this week. I hope you enjoy. Shabbat Shalom. So I do still have work today. It's the last day before our studio closes for the winter break. And actually, if you don't know, I work for a video game company, but I, uh, the CEO of our company just said, hey, everybody take the day and just play whatever games you wanna play for research. <laughs> but I think it's pretty cool. I'll probably try to get in a game or two and I have a couple of different things I needed you to close up before end of the year. Um, so I'm gonna do that in between uh, getting ready for Shabbat today. Like I said, it's kind of crazy here today. We have the, the plumber here. Uh, we find out we, we might need to replace all of our plumbing, which is great. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do a little bit of work, maybe play a game or two and finish preparing for Shabbat. I hope you are getting ready for a great Shabbat in your home. If you're interested in some Shabbat tips for a busy home or busy moms, I actually just posted a video last night on my eight tips for a better Shabbat, the things I do to prepare for, for Shabbat. You've probably seen a little bit here in this video. But anyways, gonna get back to work. I'll see you in a bit. So my husband let me sleep in a little bit this morning. And if you're wondering what it looks like when you set the Shabbat table a day early or the night before and your kids are home, let me show you. So it's still mainly intact, but obviously he's been playing with the Shabbat playset, which is fine. A little bit of dishevelment, but it's not so bad. It still looks pretty nice. So if you're wondering what it looks like setting it up early, that's what usually happens. Hi, Mama. Hi, Asher. My son and I are in the car on the way to go pick up some lunch. And if you need 20 minutes of just nice uh, quiet time or singing time. I do have a Shabbat kids playlist that I'll link below. It's only 20 minutes long. It's about the attention span that my kid has for music, but it has all the classic kid Shabbat songs on it. So go ahead and check that out for a car ride or for home. If you just want to kind of get the Shabbat spirit in the house, we usually play it in the morning before we go to school on Shabbat. And then he usually has a Shabbat saying where he sings very, very similar. <laughs> Very similar songs. I think it's time for Shabbat music now. <laughs> and don't worry, 20 minutes is probably enough for your playlist because if your kid's anything like mine, he's gonna be obsessed with just one song. Asher, what song do you wanna listen to? Uh, dinosaur. Dinosaur knocking at your door. That is our song. We probably already listened to it like eight times today, but, <laughs> but that's okay. We'll listen it again. Also, if you are a convert, you should take some time and listen to kids' Shabbat songs. I know that sounds kind of weird and like, why? But most people grew up with these songs. They're very old. It's the same songs for like decades. And it's just a piece that you might be missing um, since you're an adult and you might not have heard these things before. And they're super cute. And it's just a, a little piece that you can gain. I know that after I had my son and we first went to a Tat Shabbat and I heard these songs, I was like, oh wow. It felt like a piece was, that was missing that kind of got put in and I love them. They're very catchy and cute. So be sure to go check them out. Like I said, I'll link below. There's many ways to be happy. You can do whatever you like. You don't have to be ready. You just gotta try.
In case you're wondering what it looks like after Shabbat when you have toddlers and little nine month old babies learning how to eat, let me show you. It was a good, great success. My son even said, Mama, this is the best dinner ever. All right, I have got everything cleaned up from Shabbat dinner tonight. The kids are sleeping. My husband is also sleeping and I am exhausted. What a good Shabbat though. My son even said the best Shabbat dinner ever. Um, this weekend, I've got to finally tear down all of our Hanukkah decorations. I'm definitely lagging on that. So we will get everything torn down. My parents will be in town to celebrate Christmas with my kids and I'll explain in a video what that looks like tomorrow. But I'm gonna say goodbye to my Hanukkah bush. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you all had a great Shabbat this week um, and I will be doing another video next week for Shabbat. So see you next week. Bye.